Yep. yep. Hello everybody, What's welcome y'all? back to the stuff. Uh, we've got some exciting stuff for you today. In the last couple of weeks, we actually subscribed to something called the Loot Crate. You can check out the link down here. Um, but it's a box filled with a bunch of cool fan stuff. Bunch of loot. Bunch of loot. It's like real loot. loot. You just it's just like took the treasure chest in the game and you go and find it. Picking it up. Stuff. Anyways, we got a little link in the video for you right here. Bam. What's up y'all? Today we got a box it's called Loot Crate. It's in this box. Bam. So, we got this. That's Batman. He can stand on your desk. What's this? That's a boomerang. What? For your wallet? No, for throwing. What's this? Zelda. That goes on your wrists. What's this? I don't know. Something. You can tell me what that is. What's this? Uh, superheroes that didn't make it. Bunch of low guys. What's this? A pin. What's this? No longer prosper. What's this? What's this? A poster of a pinup Wonder Woman for show. And that's what's inside the loot crate. Hope you liked it. Um, <laughs> we also have some really cool stuff about The Witcher coming out. Who we got now? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I was gonna play some Witcher, Witcher music with my <clears throat> my vocals, but I didn't know where to go with it. So, uh, Witcher three. Uh, first of all, I have my first few videos up of my gameplay, which is fun. fun. You guys should watch them. They're pretty Very awesome. fun. The first thing I want to talk about is my episode three. Oh, yeah. Is I play this mission that is almost impossible because of what you guys know as the patch 7.1, I think, or what it is, which caused framer issues and other problems. One of them being in which I I couldn't complete this quest because of these errors yeah, and glitches. Yeah, so they said, like in their Twitter feed, they you know there's discussions between it about it, basically saying they're uh, on par, they're trying to get it fixed as fast as possible. Yep. So that's exciting, and also they released. Well, they didn't give you a date yet, it's still in progress, but they have a new video, or a game plus, coming into their final DLC, which is going to be the Project Red Way, which is going to be free, really which cool. is nice and dandy. Um, so that's awesome, so we're going to be able to play back through the game, all of our gear, all you know, all the quests again, and just enjoy it from the beginning again, which is... Good, I love, good I love those plus like games, that. so nice. that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So that's that's coming soon. They said they don't have a date yet for that. They said they're still working on it, but that's a fun idea for what the next DLC is going to entail. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, we got some a lot of tech stuff for you guys actually today. Oh, wow. um, Samsung is planning on releasing like a ton of phones here soon, and we're thinking that Samsung's wanting to jump ahead of everybody else in the game. And so right now we have a. Um, like a temporary, I don't know, date that they, they're thinking they're gonna drop all these bombs that might be August 13th. Well, you know, Apple has their uh, showcases and stuff yeah. like that, whatever, and so does Samsung, but usually Apple always gets theirs out ahead of them. Yeah. So Samsung's basically Bully. taking the lead and they're doing their kind of release, um, their showcase of all their other you know, stuff on August 13th. Right. So August 13th is they're gonna release, um, at, who knows what phones? I'm. Mean, we can assume the, 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 the guess might be the Note 5, uh, might be the S6 Edge Plus, 6 Edge Plus, um, and potentially, I don't know, there may, there's some talk about an S6 Mini. Um, <laughs> so if you're into all those Samsung phones, uh, I don't know. I think a Mini would be popular, actually, yeah, because, because a lot of people, a lot people don't people like the bigger phones. phones. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, people are getting peeled off from that because they like the um, smaller if, if I could if I could have a tablet as a, as a big phone that's that's what I would use I have the Note 4 I'd and I prefer like a 27 inch boom I'm a little baby yeah, and then you yeah. pull it down and immediately go <laughs> something else on the August 13th by the way um, is Fallout Shelter's coming out oh baby we talked about that before it's coming out on Android and, yeah fun, well it's been out yeah it's finally coming out on Android so Dang. that's a really safe for Fallout Shelter as well which I'm excited about I'll probably be playing that one yeah it'll be exciting love that Fallout stuff We'll, see, we'll, yeah, we'll, set up. we'll show you guys a little bit about that. Um, another thing with Samsung is their new monitor series. Samsung, 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 Samsung. Samsung, Samsung. <laughs> Don't mock me. No, sorry. Uh, no, but they have a monitor coming out. And they're kind of yeah, yeah. integrating that their charging technology into the monitor. Yep. So you can kind of just like, hey, you sit down to your laptop or your computer or whatever, be more like a desktop, Game potentially, all night. and you can toss your phone right on like the little the little shelf, whatever, the stand, and that, that's what's going to charge your phone. Yep. So any phone with the QI technology in it, which would be like the Samsung Galaxy 6s, uh, My phone's not cool or, enough. Or uh, Nexus, yep. I think all of those wireless charging capabilities, so... We'll see how that works out. Obviously, it's still... And that, that's a big plus, you know, it's, it's kind of a newer thing, but it's definitely, <laughs> like, 
it's nice not having to always plug your phone into a cable or a cord. Look, like, I'm missing my cables and my cords are broken. Yeah, you know, you just world? drop it on there. And yeah. we are in that, that age, that day and age. Um, where you want to set it down and pick it up and set it down without any kind of like, oh, you know, like I got to charge my phone. And it's, yeah, it's, it's exactly. necessary. So hopefully, hopefully it works out well. I mean, they're, they're, that's their next series of mo you know, monitors. So maybe there'll be something that works well. Yeah. Um, you can take away. No, Windows, Windows 10. Windows 10 that's exciting. They got that release. It's it's right around the corner. That's like that's like tomorrow or the next day. It's uh, actually going to be July 29th. That's when they actually plan on releasing that. Remember, they're planning on releasing uh, Minecraft for Windows 10. 10 yes, they so are. That's going to be a whole new, whole yes, new ball they game. Are. Whole new ball game. Yes, they yes, are. Yes, they are. You see how my hair flips in the head? Is nice. <laughs> Definitely. I wish but I yeah, Windows 10 is going to be a, a really nice integration, I think, of like Windows 7 and Windows 8 kind of combined. And, and uh, it's funny that they, it they like. skipped 8 and went straight to 10, or 9 and skipped, went straight to 10. What a dummy! Yeah, they skipped number 9 <laughs> went straight to yeah! 10. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's going to be nice. I, I personally like aspects of both programs, um, both types of software, and I think uh, it's, it's going to be really nice for... For users like me that need a little more out of their operating system, I don't even care. He don't. I just care. want to play the new Minecraft. I just want to play games. That's all I do. Just saying. I YouTube and play games. That's it. YouTube yeah. play games. That's all we want to do. That's all I want to do. Ah, uh, this is scary. Uh, so a bunch of nerds, <laughs> a bunch of uh, hardcore, huh? really minds, oh, including uh, <laughs> <laughs> including Musk and Hawking. Yeah. They all they they want to sign this agreement or some kind of maybe it's like a. Just a letter of like it's a a petition of their the heart. Yeah, it's a petition at the moment to to recommend not um, like implementing AI into robots because they tell them to come find you. That no, Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> is is there's gonna be multiple. They're basically yeah. gonna, they're gonna clone Arnie, and he's gonna be the government of every state. That's right. Right, we'll have we'll have a, a governator for every state. A governator <laughs> for every state. Yeah. It's gonna be Artificial intelligence. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, there there is like a lot of uh, one of the big things is there's an arms race going on for you know one, some of these countries to have like the most technologically advanced uh, systems and they want to have uh, autonomous robots running the show and and you know automatically attacking. But the problem that these guys are seeing is, well, what if that autonomous robot just decides that it doesn't want you around no more? Right. Right. I don't have to do this. Pulls anymore. that trigger a little early. Like have their had their sweet 16 moment where it's like, I don't have to, and it's gonna be like, what's up, dog? I'm, I do what I'm out. I do what I'm They're all gonna wear pink dresses. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Autonomous uh, Terminators running around pink dresses. Would be, <laughs> that would be oh. yeah. a bad sequel. But there is some really cool, nice new smart technology coming out for us. Potentially, it's it's in the works right now. Um, yeah. Apple is trying to team up with BMW to create a really smart car, like a really nice uh, electric smart car. It's going to be, you know, a BMW obviously does not short on the uh, the class and the excellence of, of their, uh, the their luxury vehicles. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. And then you got Apple, who is also a stickler on the tech side of their electronic side of things, uh, getting all that those really nice products out into people's hands. So if you can find a good mesh of those two and make a baby. Well, yeah. I think I think a lot of these companies. <laughs> it's like a giant. Is like it looks just like an apple with wheels. <laughs> Well, this is skills tiny door. We're not doing good in that <laughs> category. <laughs> no, but I mean, you, you have like, uh, Apple's been scrutinized by car companies going, oh, Apple, they think they're smart, they don't know what they're doing. Right. I think that's maybe fear talking, because I think Apple, I mean, like their crap. programming could potentially do a good they're job. Good at everything else. But then you get into that whole, you know, AI system, you know, idea where it's like it's first implemented into cars, which yeah, may not be that bad because right. AI might be a better driver than you are, especially if you're intoxicated, which people do. Or elderly. So, or elderly, yeah, yeah, you don't have to. I'm, I'm more worried about an elderly driver that can barely see over the steering wheel than I am a drunk person. Just saying. To me personally, they, they freak me the frick out. Yeah, so the police goes up, are you drinking? Oh. Or how old are you? Those are the two questions I asked. How old are you, young man? Ma'am, are you past 79? <laughs> Please turn this car around. Yes. Uh, but you know. no, I mean, that's that's kind of kind of a cool, I mean, 
I, you know, Tesla's been doing it for a while with their like electric kind of smart car idea. Elon Musk actually even talked about, we talked about wireless technology before, but he talked about putting like a, a console thing and like in the center console, where you can just set your phone down and it automatically charges. That's so that'd be kind of cool to have in your car too. Right. Versus the 12 volt or your little like USB plug-in that really isn't meant He's to such be. such a smart guy. Isn't meant to be a charger. It's actually meant to just play your music but people think it's a charger. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> will this, will this USB work or no? No. Well, just low amperage, doesn't charge your phone. It's not supposed to. <sighs> but anyway, so that's, that's the future for you. Yeah. And it's looking like a bright future. There's some really cool stuff out there. Uh, it's bright, sunny. But you guys don't forget to check out our link. Remember, he does have the new Witcher series out. I am just finishing up my uh, Reign of Kings series, which I'll jump into. Yeah, here in a couple of episodes. We're gonna be doing, gonna be doing some collab, a lot of collabs here. So if you like collab uh, style gaming, then check us out on those. But we appreciate you guys stopping by. Yeah, Let like, us know what else you think is exciting in the world of technology. If you keep watching. Don't stop. Don't stop. We'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Yeah.